Well, moments ago, debate began in the House on a bill to keep undetectable weapons off the streets. The law that makes them illegal is about to expire, and if it does, many people may be able to use new 3D printers to make their own plastic guns, believe it or not, which then can easily get past metal detectors. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has the details from Washington. This sounds like so futuristic, Catherine. How does it work? Well, it does, Allison. Thank you, and good morning. Uh, making a plastic gun, one that's lethal and fires like the real thing, used to be a fantasy. But with the emergence of 3D printer technology, better carving machines, and the availability of resilient plastics, these guns can be made in any basement or garage. And those who support these projects say the possibilities are endless. This is one of the first visible technologies available to more of the common man that can make one of these guns. Um, and I, I, I do think, like about a year from now, that there will be hybrid technologies and new material families, which, which will enable people to make relatively different composite-style weapons. This new technology coincides, as you mentioned, with the expiration of the Undetectable Firearms Act, which you see there is being debated today on the House floor. The legislation expires next week, and it actually dates back to 1988. And at that time, the ATF says it was really forward-thinking because it required all plastic weapons to contain some metal, often a pin or a plate, that can be flagged by screening machines. If Undetectable Firearms Ban, or Act, excuse me, expires, it is no longer illegal for an individual to manufacture one of these undetectable firearms. And the disaster is that one of these firearms could be used illegally against a large crowd in a, in a large area. But here's the thing, law enforcement and some lawmakers say that they're basically in a bind. Even if this law is renewed, it may not go far enough because the metal part contained in these plastic guns is simply cosmetic and removable. So some lawmakers want an extension on the existing law, and then they say that they'll look for ways to modify it. We now have 3D printers that can literally make plastic guns in, in people's uh, basements, uh, in, in their offices. I have nothing against 3D printers. I think they're great. I do have something against making it easier for uh, terrorists and criminals to get those guns through metal detectors. One of the things that's being advocated by the ATF, which has been taking a very forward-leaning position on this legislation, is that they want to see this metal play or pin as part of the firing mechanism. So if it's not in the gun, then in effect, it's not a useful firearm, and it would be uh, illegal, of course. Hmm. Uh, this uh, has obviously chilling implications. Thanks so much, Catherine, for bringing it to our attention. All right. They are.